What's up, guys? It's Other Jesus, and it's August 26th. Today is the first day, Friday, of the second weekend of the Titanfall 2 pre-alpha technical test. And wow, do I have some news for you guys today. An article came out today in Forbes, and I know when you think Forbes, you don't normally think video games, but they actually have some great articles on games. In the current games. And the article came out today with a bunch of quotes from Respawn that basically say, hey, we heard the fans, but we didn't listen. We decided to just do whatever we wanted to do in a boardroom and completely change the game. So basically, Respawn heard their fans, but didn't listen at all. And that's fine. That's Respawn's right. They're the developers. They can do whatever they want with the game. Okay? But I don't know what fan base they were listening to. I'm going to read you guys some of the quotes and post them in the video here uh, from this article directly from Respawn. And not only can I not really understand what the hell they're talking about, it just doesn't make any sense. Like, I don't know if they had a paid focus group with some, you know, soccer moms that don't really play Titanfall that were giving them this feedback, but it certainly wasn't the fans that were lurking on their forums long after the game had kind of lost its steam. Uh, so here, here's the, here's the first one. I'll just read this to you guys. I'll put it on screen here. After the original game, we sat down and looked at it objectively. We got a lot of feedback from the outside, from fans, from research, saying, hey, there's not enough. There's not enough content. We want more content. Internally, we played the game and came out of the play session thinking that was super exhausting. That was super chaotic. Why is that? We struggled with trying to answer what it was. So first off, they say they got some research from the outside. They say, they also say from fans, okay? But then they say from research. Well, outs, so who are the, who's the feedback from outside and what's the feedback from research, okay? You should really just be focusing on the feedback from fans, not the feedback from soccer moms, not the feedback from fake Sony Defense Force reviews online, okay? Just the feedback from your fans. Sure, you guys have your internal play tests. I understand it's, it's your game. It's really respawn. You can do whatever you want, really. I'm just giving you my opinion. Right? They said, oh, that was super exhausting. That was super chaotic. I played a ton of Titanfall 2. One of my most played games of all time. And I never once felt, oh my god, I'm so exhausted. Right? And... None of, my, none of my teammates or friends ever said that, oh my god, this is too chaotic, this is so exhausting, All right? So I don't know what they're talking about there or what they got their research from the outside, but um, I'm just baffled by that. I don't even know what to say. You guys can tell me what you think about that in the comments below. And here's, here's the next uh, blurb here, and I'll put this on screen. What it came down to was it was difficult for players to have a predictability, unpredictable kind of experience. It was difficult for players to say, if I die here in this game mode, how do I get better? Do I zig? Do I zag? What should I have done differently? It was hard for Titanfall players to answer that through their experience. So we went back to the drawing board so we could fix this. What the hell are you talking about? What the hell did you even just say there? Let me let me go back to this one, this one quote. It was difficult for players to have a predictably unpredictable kind of experience. What the hell does that even mean? When I read that, I, ha I, I had to reread that sentence like five times because I thought that it was a typo or maybe that I was reading it wrong. What are they even talking about there? I have no idea, okay? And then they say, do I zig? Do I zag? What have, what have I done differently? I mean, you say that if, if you're a competitive player and you're trying to get better, you say that at any game, no matter what happens, no matter any time you lose. You know, it, 
I don't, I don't, I don't even have the words. You can see, look on my face. I'm baffled. I'm lost for words. So there was nothing wrong with Titanfall One. It was an amazing game, close to perfection. All we wanted as players was more content and better graphics. That's all. That's all you had to do. Put it on multiple play. Make the graphics better. Right? Tighten it up. Give us more maps. Keep the balance, but, you know, add add some more Titans in there. Add some more weapons. That's what people really, you know, I think a lot of Call of Duty players were crying about is there's not enough unlocks, right? And that, and for, for players that like that thing, you know, they want to unlock a bunch of stuff, keep the grind going. I understand that, all right? But I, I like balance more than I like unlocking stuff forever. That's just me, though. I like a balanced, solid gameplay. So basically, Titanfall said, yeah, you know, we had a masterpiece, but we're going to go back to the drawing board and fix a bunch of stuff that isn't broken because do we zig, do we zag? We couldn't get it predictably unpredictable enough. I have no clue what they're talking about there. <laughs> Brain explosion. All right. So this one's a bit longer here, this, this quote here, but I'll put it up on screen. We started by addressing the fact that you move so fast. You can't shoot out of the air easily. So we slowed thing down, things down just a touch. Then also thinking more in terms of having players more proactive decisions. So instead of reacting to everything, they're thinking more like this match and this mode, this map, etc. They go, what things in the loadout menu will best help me fulfill that purpose? There's a much greater sense of purpose for players, so now they are thinking in terms of planning ahead, in terms of, I want to do this, this is my goal, this is my identity of how I am as a player. There's a huge difference because all the different modes now kind of necessitate the player proactively thinking about what they want to do. Again, brain explosion. I don't know if you guys can make any sense out of that whatsoever. It's, it seemed to me like, he didn't even know, that the guy responded didn't even know what he's talking about. So first off, they started addressing by the fact that the pilots move so fast, which was so badass in Titanfall 1. But apparently, some players had problems shooting things out of the air easily, so they slowed things down just a touch, which is bullshit. They slowed things down quite a bit, and it sucks so far in Titanfall 2. A lot of old school fans complaining about it. Okay, so and then the rest, I don't, I don't even know what to say about the, the rest of it, because it just makes no sense. It's just, ja just j garbled jabber that really has no, nothing to do, I, I, can't, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> All right, I'll just leave that one for you guys to try to make sense out of, but basically, it's just bullshit, in my opinion. All right, so the final one here, and again, this is a, another longer quote, but I'll put it up on screen for you. One of the big efforts there was trying to think of the degree of verticality, the sort of Swiss cheese effect. But now we have a 3D Swiss cheese effect. So we started thinking more in terms of simplifying the concept and using what the designers call a window pane effect, where we think in terms of lanes. Defined paths become the norm, the left, the middle, the right. There's a greater simplification of the player's understanding of the environment so that the environment becomes more predictable and becomes less just about drawing lines across the map from any point to any point where it becomes just a mess. We're trying to make sure the level is designed in a way that gets these trendy routes and feels more fundamental. Wow. Wow. Basically... They're just saying everything that hardcore Titanfall fans loved about Titanfall 1, we don't care. We want this to play more like Call of Duty. Okay, I don't know what the hell he's talking about, this Swiss cheese effect, right? I think what he's saying is that the maps were so damn awesome in Titanfall 1, you could go so many routes, you had so many ways to get to point A to point B, so many trick routes, that it was just so freaking difficult for players to understand, they couldn't adapt to that. They gave up on Titanfall too soon because they're too used to Call of Duty. Wow. Okay? So they basically, 
said, that was too hard. Okay, that was too crazy. You know, figuring out your own routes and having too many options was too crazy. So we got to make it play more like Call of Duty. We got to have the three lanes, the left, the middle, the right. Wow. Okay. So then they say, yeah, we're just trying to make the levels designed a way that it gets these trendy routes. Trendy meaning Call of Duty. So basically, we're doing everything we can to make this game play more like Call of Duty. Hence, no more burn cards. You just have the amped weapons or the little power up when you click the left D-pad. You get the little spider things. Those are stupid. Or you get the amped weapon. I don't even know what to tell you guys. Um, I've said it before, Titanfall 1, probably my favorite game shooter since, not probably, it is my favorite shooter since Halo 2. It's in a, Titanfall 1 was so balanced, best game freaking ever, love it. Um, I don't know what, what to say about this, but it doesn't give me hope at all for Titanfall 2. They still got some time to make some changes. They have addressed some of our concerns from the last weekend's alpha to this weekend's alpha. I've played a couple games so far. I signed on this morning and played a couple games. Can't really tell that much of a difference, to, to be honest. Uh, granted, I've only played two games this morning so far. I'm going to be playing a lot more this weekend to report back to you guys. But I don't know, guys. Uh, not looking good. Not sounding good from this article. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. I mean, and again, to you know, to sum this up, I'm not trying to be super negative, but this article is mind blowing. It should be a concern to all Titanfall fans. I'm going to go to the forums here in a few minutes, and if I don't see this article posted, I'm going to post it again because this needs to. The fans need to know what's going on here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of here because I, I, I got a feeling that this is running kind of long and I don't want to take up your guys' time. I'll be broadcasting on Twitch this weekend, twitch.tv slash otherjesus. Be playing a lot of Titanfall. Hit me up if you guys want to play. And until then, I'm out, you guys. If you made it this far in the video and you like the comments, you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Give me some support. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And that's it. It's OJ. I'm out. Sleep well.